everyone, I am here with my September favorites video and uh, I'm just trying out a new camera so I don't know how this video is gonna turn out but let's just get started. First of all, I don't have lots of makeup favorite for this month because the season is changing I really want to focus on my skincare routine. I want my skin to be good, so I try not to put makeup. I think I only put on makeup for like twice or three times maximum for the month of September. So I only have two skincare cosmetic related items, so let's get them out of the way first. The first favorite that I've really really be obsessing with is the Too Faced Melted Long Wear Lipstick. This is what it looks like. Um, and uh, this is in the color Melted Pony. It's a really really nice pink color. I really like this uh, liquid lipstick because first of all it's matte. And I find a lot of matte lipsticks are very drying, but this one it's liquid, so it just sits on the lips. And usually I put um, uh, YSL Papaya Sheer uh, Lipstick on top, give a really nice sheen to it. And it's very pigmented. Um, and the applicator, it's a sponge, uh, make it really easy to spread the lipsticks on the lips. The sponge applicator makes uh, the application really easy. You can just use the tiniest bit and just spread it around the lips. It has a light scent. It's, it's very Too Faced scent. If you use Too Faced cosmetic, then you know what I'm talking about. And um, it's in you know, a tube, which not gonna lie, that's why I bought it. I find it's very different. I don't have lots of Too Faced cosmetic. This is the f actually I think this is the first thing that I got from Too Faced, and I'm loving it. I wanna get all the colors, but I got this few months ago, and uh, they only have three color selections. So hope they have more and I'm wearing it on my lips right now. I just use the tiniest bit and just spread it around. This is what it looks like. Next favorite, I think I talked about this product in my previous video, but I'm just loving it. I had really really bad skin problem. Uh, I would say for the past few years, I tried tons of creams, like from high end, uh, from drugstore. It was just none of them works. And until, because I had severe breakout, uh, like around my chin area, and I bought the Kate Somerville oil free moisturizer. This is what it looks like. I love it because it cleared my skin up and uh, I find the the moisturizers that I've been using, they are like too oily but this one is oil free but at the same time it doesn't make my face feel dry at all. It still moisturizes, it still hydrates, do all the wonderful things without the greasy and I find you just need a little bit, like half pump for the face and it's fine. And uh, I find when I use more than a half pump, my face just won't absorb the cream and it just makes my face look really oily again. So I really really enjoy this cream, it doesn't have a scent. I think it suits sensitive skin as well because it's just so smoothing on the face. If you have oily skin, please try the Kate Somerville cream. Let me just do a close up again. This is what it looks like. And because um, it is fall and Canada where I live, the weather is very dry. Usually this time of the year, my skin will start peeling. It's just really bad. But since I've been using this, my skin cleared up and it just in a wonderful state. 
And another thing that I really like about this is the applicator. Uh, I think I talked about, once again, I talked about this in my previous videos, but I just want to show you guys. It's a pump, so you just press, so you just press it down, and the cream will come out right over here. So, like, I find it's cleaner this way. I think this is my holy grail cream. I use it day and night, no fuss, there's no SPF in it, so I can use it during the night as a night cream as well. Next, anyways, let's talk about fashion favorites. First, I want to talk about the necklace that I've been wearing. This is from J. Crew. It's a really nice statement necklace. Let me just do a close up. Oh, it matches my nails. Uh, not really, but I got this in the summer. It's a little bit pricey, but I just love it. Like the statement necklace, I think this is the first one that I bought from J. Crew. They make really, really, really good jewelries, especially necklaces and stuff like that. So in the fall, I have lots of basic like tops, sweaters, cardigans. It just, it's very plain. I like to invest in basic product and uh, whenever I wear this, it just make the outfit look really put together and then I don't need to think about it. Oh my god, what am I gonna wear like for jewelry? Bang! This. And it just, it's a statement necklace, so what can you say? And the quality is phenomenal. And they're a little bit heavy, not gonna lie. After like a day of wearing it, I, my neck would kind of get a little bit uncomfortable. But I really, really enjoy wearing this necklace. And the color just, it's all year round. I love it. It's a bit pricey. I think I got it for around like two hundred dollar or one fifty ish, but it's it's good and uh, really good quality. We have some stories. Me and this necklace, we have some really really intense story. I fall, I, you know, but they stay the same. So I really enjoy this. J Crew, they make really nice products, and their quality, their cardigan, their sh I mean. Everything they make, it's pretty much really good. And check it out, and I'm sure you will find something that you guys like. And they have some great sales. Usually twice a year, the three times a year, they will have on sale item, additional 50% off, additional 40, additional 30. It's a great time to grab like jewelries and cashmere sweaters. And and another favorite that I've been obsessing with, no, it's more like a style that I've been obsessing with. Like, literally, if you know me in real life, then you know how obsessed I am with this style. They are slip-on shoes. I not only have one pair, but I, oh my god, they're so dirty in the back. I have two pairs. Uh, let's talk about them. First of all, they're very Vans inspired and this one pretty much everyone can tell they're from Givenchy and uh, they're just so comfy. Oh my god. I think it's a fall statement for me. They're the comfiest shoes that you will ever find. With Givenchy, this particular pair, I would say, because they are a little bit narrow. Let's compare the see they're the same size, but this one would look really big and then this pair is from Louboutin, but I'll talk about this one later. But this um they're just it goes with literally every casual outfit that I put on. I try to switch up my shoes a little bit, but every time these, one of them went so and they're so comfy and uh, slip on shoes a lot of brand are actually start making slip on shoes like Celine they have um, the ones with like fur on the top but I got these suit first of all uh, this is Givenchy with a little bit logo right here and of course icon over here um all leather inside it's brown leather i guess with a little bit suede at the back and the signature stars 
at the at the back as well. This is one. So this is from Louboutin. The sole, see the sole is actually rubber. I don't need to worry about the color comes out or anything like that, but it's really dirty. Sorry guys. And loops uh, with studs around it. And um, I just, I love them. Like for fall outfits, I really, really love them. And yeah. Okay. Last favorite that I've been obsessing with, I think for the month of August and September, this is the only bag that I was carrying. It's my Chanel reissue flap for my one bag tag video. I did the video on this bag. Uh, I don't want to do a review. If you want to see a review, let me know. Leave the comment down below. And I just, I love it. It carry more than I expected. The chain is a little bit heavy, but yeah, it's very classic. It looks good with a nice Burberry trench coat or some sort of... It goes with anything, especially with leather jackets as well. And I just love it. One of my... Uh, one of the classic, of course. Uh, I wore this to a wedding as well. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know I'm the uh, bridesmaid. I will leave my Instagram, Twitter, my blog, everything down below. Please be sure to check out. I just did a blog post on my trip. I had some pictures and stuff like that. I tried to vlog a little bit uh, during my trip. If you guys want to see it, let me know. I'll try to get that video ready for you guys. And this is all my favorites for September. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye!